we decided for sure we're going to be investing in getting a bus that we're going to convert into a tiny house. We have the space all kind of picked out in the yard where we're going to do the work. And we have spent every night hours looking over how other people have gone about this process. We've been researching different types of buses and we're just really, really excited about it. I will say that we are so eager to get started. We're so eager to get started. We want to get our tools. We want to start mapping out the interior. We're just really, really excited. So we've had to kind of put the brakes on this whole process. And there's a little bit of sadness that comes with that, honestly. When you look at your life situation and you have determined 100% you would like to go from one to another, like one lane to another lane, it's kind of difficult to be patient. What do you think about that? Yeah, I would say uh, my biggest deal is uh, <clears throat> this is definitely what we want and we know this is what we want. And Esther and I typically, when we say we want something, we just do it. Yeah, we're really aggressive. We're like, woo! Yeah, we don't wait a too long. Uh, this doesn't interfere with our plans overall of being out in a few years, you know, and, and being out on our own. This is still well within our, our plan. But it, it's like, once we've made our minds up, we don't like waiting at all. And it's yeah, not at all. <laughs> count, it's counter our personality. We are not the kind of people who would say, okay, well, set aside a little bit each paycheck, and then in six months. No, we're kind of like, how can we get to the goal in a month? Like, what's the fastest way to get there? And if it's just about, if, if it's just about work, we'll put in the work. Like, we're willing to work anyway. Yeah. So a little, little bit of uh, growing up that we'll have to do there. You know, yeah. <laughs> this is a, definitely a growing pains. Uh, so we definitely want the bus. We want definitely want a good bus and. We wanted to take a bus at, you know, that's mechanically sound, but maybe interior is just garbage, and we want to turn that into something beautiful. The problem with all that is there's a lot of we don't knows going on. Yeah, we're trying to learn though. Like we're we're really one digging of, our heels into research. One of which being uh, we don't know any bus mechanics, so that's we're gonna right. we're gonna have to find one. Uh, as far as carpentry is concerned, I can wing it probably pretty good. Uh, I know enough about about work, working with wood that I'll probably be okay to do most of that myself. Uh, I don't have to learn how to do solar. You know, I have seven years of electronics, but it doesn't mean that I've ever done anything like this before, so. Yeah, we want an off-grid vehicle. We want to have solar. We want to mm -hmm. essentially be self-sustaining. Aaron has some really interesting ideas of how to kind of advance that a little bit more yeah. forward. Like, uh, one thing I wanted to do is, uh, a rainwater catcher on top of the bus so uh, we can fill a tank uh, with whenever it rains we can fill a tank with water that we could filter and use for showers and stuff like that uh, wouldn't it be nice to not worry about uh, filling up your tank and take longer showers because hey it rained today so I can take a longer shower tomorrow you know it's stuff like that that would be really cool uh, and I think it's possible to do on a bus also I'm thinking about doing hy a hydrogen hydrogen gas and uh, I'm gonna see if any of that stuff is plausible for uh, heating so instead of having to fill a propane tank every time I want heat it would be really really cool if I could use the same solar electricity to, uh, to go ahead and create some hydrogen gas so that'd be interesting I'm, it's an idea yeah so we we have all these things as we look at other other projects that people who have uh, great YouTube channels and have filmed their process we really enjoyed watching that those uh, projects unfold and we're just really eager to get started so we've kind of had to yeah, accept good. the fact that we have to wait and we've got to take the right steps to learn about buses and not just race out and try and buy a bus in a minute we need to look at the different types of buses try and find where we're going to be you know able to like bring the bus like like you said finding a bus mechanic so yeah, so we're kind of, that's where we are. And yeah. I really, I can't wait for us to get started. But it's been really honestly helpful to see other people express their frustration in the process. It makes us feel like, oh, that's probably pretty normal. That once you decide you want to do something and you can't immediately make it happen, that's normal. So that's where we are right now. Yeah, so right now it's, it's, a, it's a matter of getting the funds together, um, looking for the right uh, people to help us out because we will need some instruction for both electronics, uh, 
carpentry and obviously mechanic. Like we're, we're gonna need a solid mechanic to bring the uh, bring a bus to or to to tell us what bus to go for. You know, we want an older bus because we like the way it looks. However, that also means that we're gonna put ourselves in some risk. So it's it's difficult right now. It really is. It's a difficult proposition to go to. Yeah, I mean, and we're still right in the grind of daily life. We're in Atlanta traffic. It totally is no fun. We, I mean, we love being together. That's nice. But it just makes you want to go for a different life. So we're excited. We hope that there are other people out there who are kind of in the same place where you've decided that you want to do something different. And you just have to take the steps to get there. And we would say, you can do it. We tell ourselves we can do it. We're just slowly going to make our way there. And we're just going to try and keep ourselves excited and energized in the moments that are a little bit slower. So that's the deal. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. You, you, you.